What's up, YouTube? A guy dropped this uh, iX2000 off. He said it was going into straight overload after a few seconds of running. So I did some research, and it says that you have to split this case apart and check the inverter panel thing inside. But, uh, but before I do that, I'm going to show you all what his symptoms were. So, I have to split this whole thing in half to get to this inverter and check it. Let's get started. Okay. So, I got it split apart. And I printed the repair manual. You can get this off of, I believe it's jacksmallengines.com. Or you do some searching around on Generac's website. So let's see. Okay. So overload light on while the energy engine is running. No load. So it's saying to test the subcoil of the stator. Now Test the subcoil of the stator. It's saying to look for the C4 connector, which is this one. Test pin one and pin four. So if you were looking at this, uh, this connector with the little thing on top, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to test one and four. And resistance measured between pin one and four should be three ohm, 0.3 ohms for a IX2000, 0.7 for a 1600 and 0.5 for an IX 800. So, put one in there, one in there. I mean, I, I guess that's close enough for what it's asking. So, you know, that seems to be good. And another thing that I found, I'm not no electrical expert here, but this little deal is rusted to all get out. And, you know, they, they epoxy, or it feels like polyurethane, they pot it for, for vibration, but, you know, whenever you have issues like this, you can't go quickly and see, like, what's blown, or if there's a short. So, rather than, you know, getting some cheap parts trying to fix it, this little, this little inverter pack cost just as much as the whole generator. So this thing right here is basically a boat anchor. Mm. 
there's that again. And that's it. That's all I got. Thank you.